What a glorious day. Josh and Courtney would like to begin by welcoming and thanking each and every one of you for being here on this wonderful occasion. Each of you are here today because you represent an important person in the individual and the collective lives of Josh and Courtney. Today represents a deeply personal ritual that honors and celebrates Josh and Courtney. It is not only monumental for Josh and Courtney, but for all of us who know and love them as an individual and as a couple. The most remarkable moment in life is when you meet the person who makes you feel complete, the person who makes the world a beautiful and magical place. Josh, Courtney, you have found that in each other. Here we are. From this day forward, we will be the one thing I've been longing for since my existence, life partners. I consider myself the luckiest man on this planet ever since you walked into my life. The greatest gift I have is the gift of you loving me. You love my kids with the same energy as the boys and I will forever be truly grateful for your role you are fulfilling in their life. I could walk to the ends of the earth if it meant I was doing it with you. Finally, I promise to never stop loving you, Courtney Lee Owen. I'll forever love you until the end of time. Josh, four years ago, I never realized what an incredible journey we were embarking upon together. I love that over the past four years, I have never faced life's challenges without your unconditional love. You have shown me what it means to love and to fully give my heart to someone. I have thought about this day since I fell in love with you and have looked forward to the joining of our families for the past four years. See you at the altar. I'll be the one in white. I packed two pairs of socks for you with love, hugs, kisses, and the promise of a lifetime together. Your future wife. Hi. Hi. Who today presents this beautiful woman to be married to this wonderful man. That's great. You like it? Lovely. This is the day. Yeah? Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Courtney, from the moment I met you, my life took a turn I never expected, but it was the best turn it could have possibly taken. I promise to cherish every moment we share together. From the ordinary days to the extraordinary ones, I vow to be your partner in all things, to support you, to encourage you, and to be your rock when you need one. I promise to be patient and understanding, to listen to you with an open heart and open mind. I vow to, to love you unconditionally for all that you are and all that you will become. Courtney, I love you more than words can express, and I can't wait to see what the future holds for us as husband and wife. Josh, I vow to embrace you tighter on your darker days, but hold you close to me every day after too. I vow to pour into our cup as much as I pour into my own cup, to never drown or starve our love of the consistency it needs to keep growing. I vow to be your safe place to run to when you need protection and your place of comfort when you need quiet reflection. I vow to be your calm after every storm because our love will always stand in the rain. I vow to always be the moon in your universe, to be the light as we both embody the, the essence of our union. I vow to love you and to always show you, I vow to never make you question it. by the authority vested in me by the state of Oklahoma and God's higher word, pronounce you husband and wife. Josh, you may kiss your bride. May I introduce to you for the first time, Mr. and Mrs. Josh Owen. No, but I first met Josh back in the early 90s. I can't say that I was overly interested in meeting him. 
Mom and Dad used to tell me I was the best thing that ever happened to them. And then you came along and proved them right. The first time I held you, we locked eyes, and there it was. Nothing like I've ever felt before. Sibling rivalry. I am proud of the man you've turned into. The way you're always there for people when they need you. The way you're the best dad for your kids. I wish one day when I grow up I can be as selfish as you. We used to tell Josh there was no way he could ever pull a girl with his hideous mullet and mutton chops that he had. But sometimes you accidentally swipe right and the next thing you know Josh's house finally has many wines. Here's a toast to the newlyweds. We wish you all the best of luck with the ups and the downs. Hi everybody, I'm Haley. I'm Courtney's best friend of 10 years. I'm so glad my first impression was wrong. You're not stuck up at all. You're caring, you're kind, you're selfless, and our friendship has seen high highs and we've seen low lows, but through it all we've made it even stronger. Our friendship hasn't been one full of exciting adventures, but one of consistent love and support for each other. That's what's special about our friendship. We don't need trips abroad. We don't need drunken nights out. We just needed each other. You've always been an amazing friend to me. And I've watched you become an amazing mother, and now you're an amazing wife. I'm super happy for you guys. I hope your future is just amazing. And Josh, I hope you know just how lucky you are. Welcome everyone, family, friends, and friends that I've not yet met. I am the very proud father of the bride. Thirty-six years ago, on, on our side of the family, Bob and I left the UK to follow our dream, leaving a lot of people behind when we did it. Today is a true testament that 36 years later we had two people when we left and now we have a hall full of friends at this gathering today it's truly amazing for the joyous occasion for both Courtney and Josh be open be honest be caring and don't go to bed mad welcome Josh to the family and welcome everybody here tonight thank you